Hello guys, also Gamer July here. So today I'm going to be explaining games that you can still play on the iPhone 4S. This is just part one. If you want me to do a part two and a part three, just let me know. So I've seen a lot of reviews for the iPhone 4S, and one of the main complaints is the games, the fact that you can't play every single game on the iPhone 4S, and that is true. But there are still a wide variety of games that you can still play. And I want people to know about this. So if they do have an iPhone 4S and they use it as their main phone or they just have it lying around, you can download these games on it and they will work. And these are amazing games. There are two games. Yeah, see, the two or three games that I haven't played on this list. And I will be explaining to you why. But I have seen them play on the iPhone 4S. And I can tell you their performance and what the games are. So let's get right into this. So Infinity Blade, think of it like your you 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 have this character and you're fighting other like warriors and shit like that and it does get harder as the game goes on every time you fail you go back to that area and it just gets harder and harder and harder it's easy at the beginning but don't take advantage of that because let me tell you something right now don't 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 take that for granted because it's going to get harder and you're going to get your ass whooped i can guarantee it and it's gonna get very fast paced so you have to do a lot of dodging in this game minecraft pocket edition i really shouldn't even be explaining what the fuck that is um it's basically just a game where you craft and you can make whatever the fuck you want if you don't know what minecraft is there's something wrong with you um street fighter 4 vote so there is a street fighter 4 but i couldn't download it um i actually got street fighter 4 vote for free so street fighter 4 vote um it's a very, very good game. It's a fighting game. I've played all the Street Fighters, except for the new one. I, I wish I could play it. I've seen gameplay of it, but I just wish I could play it. But Street Fighter 4 Volt works very fucking smooth on the iPhone 4S. Um, Now, the thing about the iPhone 4S is I can't really say for everybody, but all of these games, except for an exception for like two, have worked for me on my iPhone 4S. There are some people who... They can't play certain games for some reason on their iPhone 4S. I don't know why. But for me, these games worked, all right? Pokemon Duel is basically like you have these little figures and you battle with it. If you download the game, you'll understand more of what I'm saying. But it's a very cool fucking game. And I recommend that everyone download it. Everyone who is a Pokemon fan or is not a Pokemon fan, it's still a good game overall. Grand Theft Auto 3... Everyone knows what the concept of Grand Theft Auto is. I haven't tested the other Grand Theft Autos on the iPhone 4S, but Grand Theft Auto 3 works like a fucking charm. All right. Um, if you want to go check out the other Grand Theft Autos before I make a video on it, it should say down in the description if the iPhone 4S is compatible. If it just says iPhone, then it should say it's compatible. But if it says iPhone 5 and up, then most likely you're not going to be able to play it on your iPhone 4S. Game of War is basically nothing but just your typical tower defense game where you have to level shit up. You know, it takes like 24 hours for this and this to do. It takes like five minutes for this and this to do to upgrade and for you to take over other people. It's basically nothing but a normal game. You see a lot of these. All right. Clash Royale. I've never played Clash Royale. But I have seen it run on the iPhone 4S, but I, I have heard of the game, and the game is pretty good. So for all you Clash of Clans fans out there and other fans that if they've seen Clash Royale and they recommend it to you, I recommend trying it out. Color Switch, you should know what Color Switch is. You basically just tap on your screen, and you have to, if the little circle is purple, you have to get through the purple thing, and it will keep changing. If you download it, you'll know what I mean. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Oh my god. Do I love Dokkan Battle, alright? So what I recommend you guys do, you get a Japanese, alright? You get a Japanese account and you download the Japanese Dokkan Battle. That's what I really recommend you doing because Global is dead as fuck at the moment. Just Japanese has so much going for it. Like they just came out with the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Timebreaker Bardock event. Oh my god, I just need one of them and I'll be set, I'm telling you. Flow free, you basically just connect the little lines and shit. It gets harder as you go. Not really too much to explain. Terraria, a lot of people say it's a boot, it's like a, a boot off of Minecraft. It's really not. It's If you play Terraria and you are a Terraria fan like I am, you will see Terraria is way different from Minecraft. 
I'm telling you, it's like it has a so many different items, so many different weapons, so many things that you can actually build. The game really isn't focused on building like Minecraft is. It's basically focused on defeating enemies, making a small house if you want to. On the fucking console, my house is huge as fuck. I'm not even lying. Like, it's so huge and it's made with all rainbow brick. But Terraria is basically like just you go around this normal world or expanded world, defeat enemies, create a house, get all the weapons and all the items that you need to do whatever the fuck you want. It's basically just like an exploration game and create different maps and find shit and go on other people's maps and kind of see what they have. All right. Madden Mobile is nothing but like a Madden game that's for the phone. Not really too much to explain there. Geometry Dash. Um, it kind of works because it lags. It 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 got to the point where the, the lag actually bothered me, but it may not bother all people. Um, Fire Emblem Heroes. I remember downloading it on my iPhone 4S and it worked. Fire Emblem Heroes. If you are a Fire Emblem fan, I do recommend getting this. Oh my god, it's so fucking fun. Super Mario Run. Um, Obviously, we all know that it runs on the iPhone 4S. I don't see how it couldn't run on the iPhone 4S. Super Mario Run is basically like this little game. Think of it like Mario and... You're in the Mario world except you're running and you have to defeat shit. Um, If you play it, you understand what I'm saying. But if you don't, then you have to actually download it to know for yourself. Pokemon Go, I have not play Pokemon Go on my phone, but I've has seen it run on the iPhone 4S. I've seen videos of it. And from what my understanding is, even people who commented, they said that they have it and it works fine, but sometimes it'll crash. So I guess if it works and you want it on your iPhone 4S, then you can download it. But I really don't care if you do download Pokemon Go. I don't like it at all. Candy Crush Saga, we all know Candy Crush Saga is kind of like Bejeweled. I mean, it's not really too much to explain there. It works perfectly fine on my iPhone 4S. There's nothing wrong with it. Piano Tiles 2, basically you just press the piano tiles and you're playing the songs and they go faster and faster and faster as it goes. Um, There is a little bit of lag here and there, but it wasn't enough lag to actually bother me, all right? So it wasn't like the lag actually bothered me in any type of way. It did not. All right. Smash hit. You basically have to throw these little pinballs at the glass and they break. And then when you hit the certain glasses, they give you more pinballs to break more glass. Very good game. Kind of addictive. Um, I don't have it on my phone currently. I've had downloaded it on my iPhone 4S and played it. And I do recommend downloading it if you want a time wasting game. Pokemon Shuffle. Here's the thing about Pokemon Shuffle. Think of it like Bejeweled in a way. Kind of like a Candy Crush game. It's way different from Candy Crush and Bejeweled. They got the Pokemon mechanics in it. And it's so fucking fun. You get five hearts. And once those five hearts are gone. You have to wait. If I'm not mistaken. It's like 25 minutes to 30 minutes for like another heart. Yeah. I actually do have it currently on my Android phone. Which is what I'm using to record this video. And it's a very fun game. But... It will not be time consuming after about maybe seven minutes of playing after you've run out of hearts or if you don't have any money or jewels to get more hearts, then you have to wait. So don't think this is a time consuming game because it's not. It's actually just to waste some quick time and just go on to something else to play and waste time until your hearts replenish. Happy Wheels. I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not going to explain Happy Wheels to you. Happy Wheels is a very fucking fun game. You basically pick these characters, create levels to play, or you could just use the um the levels that the creators created. It's nothing like the PC version where you basically just play a whole bunch of people's created levels. I mean, if you actually, if someone sent you their created levels, then you could play it like that, but just... Just just download if you want to, if you want just a little bit of the Happy Wheels experience. But let's get on to the next game, Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. If you play Call of Duties and you played Zombies, then that's basically what this is. Um, it's a very, very good, mainly on the iOS, because on the Android, you can't. it won't let you play online for some reason. I've seen a lot of people complain about it, but when I go on the iOS version, you can play with people and you can talk to people as well through your microphone. And it works like a charm. 
Plants vs. Zombies 2. Um, I just downloaded this, but I just deleted it. It does lag. It doesn't go at full speed, and it kind of annoys me, all right? So if you can get past the lag, then you can play Plants vs. Zombies 2. But for me, I can't get past the lag. It, it bothers me so that it doesn't run at full speed. I would admit it does run just a little bit smoother than I thought it was, like I thought it would on the iPhone 4S. But it does run enough to where you just might be able to enjoy it if you can get past the lag. All right, so these are some games that you can still play on your iPhone 4S. And I recommend that you download a majority of these. Um, if you want me to do a part two, I can do a part two and I can check the app store. And like I said, these, these are not all the games that you can play that are still available on the iPhone 4S. These are just a majority of good games that I've picked out that you could play. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me if you want me to do more of this. Leave a like. You can subscribe if you want to. I don't really say leave a like and subscribe too much because I'm not one of those YouTubers. I'm, I mean, it's people, they do want you to subscribe and like their videos. But, you know, I'm different. You can subscribe and like if you want to. I'm not going to pressure you to because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to pressure you. You can watch me if you want to. And I would really like if you would watch me and you can enjoy me more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. This has been Old School Gamer Jill here. Have a great day.